Kitchen. Clean air, and who's that gone off? Leclerc. And look after these tyres. Charles Leclerc is out of the race. We are on the F1 22 game, but we have the F1 23 mod installed, which means all the liveries uh, will be pretty much the 2023 liveries. There are some uh, limitations. So, for example, the red on the halo of the Alpha Tauri is just white because you cannot uh, change that to red since uh, the way your mod liveries is um, limited. But, uh, yeah, signed, you saw, DNF'd in Collie. I hope I don't jinx him, um, but I went for that. Um, no, sorry, it was Leclerc, my bad. Uh, but, yeah, um, that enables us to do a last question mark channel challenge here at 2023 Bahrain Grand Prix. Strategy is going to be medium to soft, and we're going to take 14.3 laps of fuel and then without further ado i think we're ready to head into the race the formation that gets underway then it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions can affect the lifespan of the tires So here we are then, getting ready to start round one of the 2023 season. We've got five red lights, and we are underway for the first time uh, this year. Still on F122, but luckily there are great motors out there that made this possible. Uh, leave the links in the description. But into turn one, we go for a dive bomb, and we try and gain as many positions straight off the bat as we can. I think we're alongside the Williams and show Guan Yu that was we make those moves stick up into P16 as we're now going to fly right around the outside of the Alpha Tari of Yuki Sonoda which is an absolutely beautiful move turn 4 being a weak spot for the AI next up we've got Seb Vettel of course he wouldn't be on the grid uh, but the, we cannot really change the names of the drivers so just imagine that is Alonso anyways we go up the inside of Bottas uh, into the hairpin now we're alongside him through the entirety of turn 9 and 10 as we're now still alongside him uh, um, fighting for P13 are we going to swoop right around the outside we are using realistic performance so we should be a lot faster uh, than these midfield cars but then it's going to be difficult to catch the likes of the Mercedes and the Ferrari uh, sorry, and the, the Red Bulls and our teammate Ferrari, so that's fair. Anyways, up into P13. That's a great start, considering we're on mediums as well. Uh, Max Verstappen out in the lead. Pretty far lead already. He's got pretty big gap, uh, it looks like, on the minimap. And then it's t our teammate signs in P2. We're currently in P13, chasing down Mick Schumacher. Of course, he won't be. He's not in F1, but once again, we can't change the names. And somehow, we found the space there on the outside. Caught Schumacher napping, and we make the move stick beautifully. So it is us up into P12. Next up is Pierre Gasly. Uh, the Frenchman, of course, should be in the Alpine. Uh, but since we can't change the names, once again, he's still in the AlphaTauri. So imagine that that is... Um, Nick De Vries, I think it should be, yes. Uh, so we've got Nick De Vries ahead of us. And then in the first points paying position, we have Lando Norris in the MCL 60. Yuki having a bit of a moment. Here we go then. 
We accidentally bump draft Yuki there, it's not really what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go up the inside into the final corner and we make a beautiful move once again. And that is us up into P11 now. We're picking off these cars fast because they're a lot worse than us. But then the cars ahead of us uh, progressively become faster. So it's always, it's gonna become harder and harder to close up. But P11 after two laps. That's a pretty solid start if you ask me. We're within the RS range of Lando Norris as well, which is exactly what we need. So let's try and close up to the McLaren and then eventually go for the move and get ourselves into the points paying positions. So end of lap three then, we're right under the rear wing of Lando. I'm not gonna go for a move. I'm gonna try and prepare a nice exit so we can hopefully get past him uh, at turn one. You can see we should be evenly matched on straight line speed. And we're gonna pull to the inside of the McLaren uh, into turn one on lap four. And we outbreak him. Oh, we made that move stick beautifully up into P10 we go. So we already ha would have one point to our name if we finish in this position. Although Landon Norris decides to come back. I'm not gonna defend, I'm just gonna break late. Because I know the AI is a bit weak at turn four. And we hold on to P10, uh, which is great. As next up, we have Ke Kevin Magnussen in the Haas. His car is a lot worse than ours. I'm going to go up the inside at the hairpin, making a nice clean move on the Danish driver, although he keeps it around the outside. So fair play to him. And he actually pushes, off, pushes us on the curb there. But then he makes a bit of a mistake and we actually get past. So up to P9. But now we have a 1.8 second gap to what should be Oscar Piastri in front of us. Uh, but due to the limitations of modding, it's still Daniel Ricciardo. Which I don't mind, but uh, it's just a realism. So yeah, now we need to push to try and close in in DRS. I don't have the greatest amount of ERS left. So it's really crucial to get within DRS of Oscar. So here we go then, on to lap number six. We're right on the back of Oscar Piastri. She just had a new PB, the two Alpines ahead, Ocon and Gasly fighting. As we're gonna force Oscar to go defensive, we're gonna go right, or at least try and go right around the outside. We're side by side, but we get him in turn two, and so does uh, Pierre on his teammate Esteban Ocon. And they actually fought a bit as well. I think they both went a bit deep into turn one, which means that we're instantly back uh, in their DRS range, which is very good for us. And um, yeah, P8 now. Bit of a lock up there, not ideal. But I'm expecting the first soft tire runners to box this lap as well. So we'll see uh, how the pit stops pan out. I'm gonna box on lap number eight, maybe seven. Depends if our teammate boxes this lap or on number seven. Because if our teammate boxes on lap number seven, then we can't really pit on the same lap as we'll lose time because the pit crew isn't ready. As Ocon actually makes a bit of a mistake there. I wonder if we can shape up a move anywhere. I'm gonna go for the dive bomb into the penultimate corner and it works out beautifully for us. Uh, we don't lose any time to Sergio, uh, sorry, to your Gasly either, which is great really for us. As you can see, our teammate stays out, Max is in, and so is Lewis Hamilton. So we are can't box this, well we were not gonna box this lap because I'm 100% sure that our teammate will pit on this lap. So we will be going until lap number eight, and then we'll have six laps on a fresh set of softs to absolutely push flat out and see uh, what we can do is using battery here, trying to get past Pierre Gasly here, but just a bit uh, too short as we're right behind him now. This might actually hurt us, since he's on worse tires than us at this stage of the race. But then into the hairpin, we're gonna go up the inside, leave him the space on the outside, and he actually gets insane traction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch back See if we can make that work. Leave him the space. 
We do get the DRS, but he gets the better exit as he's right alongside us now into this next left hander. We break later. Does he switch back us? No, he doesn't. So that is us up into P4. But remember, a few cars have already pitted, so it's not a net P4. Uh, but anyways, let's see if our teammate is going to pit at the end of this lap. He does indeed. So we're going to stay out one more lap and then we are going to come in for our pit stop uh, at the end of lap number eight. Signs onto the hard tire. That's just classic uh, Ferrari strategy. Surprised they didn't change it uh, in 2023, but we'll see on Sunday, well, I guess today, at the time of uploading this video, if they'll actually um, do a less than optimal strategy again yellow flags behind looks like one of the Haas is out of this race is it Nico Hülkenberg or is it Kevin Magnussen oh, it looks like it was just a spin so no one will be out so no safety car if we would get a safety car now that would be absolutely insane uh, but we don't Anyways, let's try and get this pit exit somewhat nicely. Uh, so it is a decent pit entry. Uh, we are on broadcast pit entry as it just makes it a bit more realistic as into the pit lane we go. Looks like no faults and we're onto the soft tire. 2.8 is a nice stop as there goes Max Verstappen. There goes our teammate and another bunch of cars. I think that's a Merc and a Red Bull. And uh, both Mercs, sorry. As you can see, we just rejoin. What? We just rejoin. Oh! What, what, what? Just happened there. So, I, I came out of the pit lane, Alonso dive-bombed me, lost his wing, and now there's a safety car. So, Alonso will pit, so we'll gain that position back, but then we'll be right on the back of everyone. Then we don't need to catch up at all. So, I think that safety car might actually help us here. Oh, that's interesting. I never had that. Um, I th we're in standard simulation damage, so I'm lucky... I didn't get any side pot damage there because he full on rammed my side pot. Uh, but that's really going to help us for the rest of this race. So here we are then on the safety car restart. Uh, safety car is in this lap. And uh, we're about to go racing. Our tires are nice and warm. Uh, we've got the RS. Now we just need to go flat out. Three laps of racing to try and make up five positions. As so there we go, Max Verstappen has gone. Green flag racing as he pull alongside Sergio Perez. Although as he, he has insane straight line speed. We're going to go for a double dive bomb on him and Lewis Hamilton to try and get a fourth position. It works out and that is a brilliant start for us but we know the AI use all of their battery on a safety car restart so we're not allowed to let uh, Max run away here we're gonna try and get past uh, George and Sainz as soon as we can as we're gonna go for George into the hairpin and we make that move stick so up to P3 we go uh, with a bit more than two laps of racing to go as science not looking like he is having the best of times on that hard tire we're gonna use our ERS we're gaining on him we're gaining on him he's gonna go defensive so we're gonna use our grip advantage to fly around the outside of our teammate and now we're up into p2 now it's us against max verstappen who's about one and a half seconds in the lead but he's got worn mediums while we have brand new fresh softs now the gap is below one second this is going to come down right 
to the wire as into the final chicane uh, final corner we go sorry we're closing and closing and get behind already 1.8 seconds as Sainz and Russell are battling it out as we're still closing in on Max Verstappen breaking as late as I dare into turn one and going on throttle as early as I can as we are now right on the back of Max Verstappen about to head uh, onto the last lap of the race as we're gonna try and nail this final corner for the penultimate time in this race we're right on the back of the Red Bull he's not gonna go defensive we're gonna pull to the inside although he has insane straight line speed as you can see we not get we don't we're not getting past I look to the outside we're gonna try and go right around the outside of Max Verstappen although we have to leave this face and he hangs it around the outside we do get the DRS he doesn't he is gonna go no he yes it is gonna go defensive as we now try and fly around the outside of turn four and we make the move uh, stick beautifully as turn four is just a great corner to go around the outside at least for me and that is us up into P1 from last on the grid now the question is if we can hold it together for the rest of the lap and make Leclerc the first winner of the 2023 F1 season starting from the back of the grid and it looks like we can Max Verstappen is six tenths behind us so I don't think he can really overtake us anymore unless we make a big mistake uh, he's within four tenths now so he has closed up a bit uh, but I don't think it's gonna be enough through the penultimate corner we go one more sector to go in this race Max Verstappen is half a second back he's gaining a lot on this back straight but I don't think it's gonna be enough as we round the final corner we get a clean exit and it's gonna be Charles Leclerc to win the season opener at Bahrain again an excellent performance at today's Grand Prix and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there amazing talent out there on track today but Anthony who would you pick as your driver of the day? Charles Leclerc showed exactly how to manage yourself out on the track today he was almost flawless out there incredible stuff well what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing thanks to everyone who's joined us and we'll see you for the next one so that was it then my simulation for the 2023 Bahrain Grand Prix if you did enjoy Please leave a like and subscribe as it massively helps me out and I'll try and um, make more content. Also, let me know your predictions uh, in the comments down below. Who's going to win? Who's going to be the best rookie? Who's going to be the biggest surprise? What team do you think will be a big surprise? And uh, who will be the WDC and WCC uh, of 2023? But that's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care and goodbye.